Welcome to the Cape Fear Sports Report, driven by Stevenson Automotive Group. It's the last show of 2009. Jim Clark's moved to Florida. Joe Masseri is up in New York for vacation, so we brought in the Coach's Corner own John Rendleman. The Coach's Corner show for today is over. The Cape Fear Sports Report starts now. <laughs> Fair Sports Report, driven by Stevenson Automotive Group. I'm Jesse Jones. And I'm John Rundleman. Great to have you on, John. Thanks for finally stopping by. My pleasure to be with you today here at Francesco's. All right, today we lead off the show with action from the Time Warner Holiday Classic. Girls basketball gets us started. Holiday hoops. The local teams had a rough opening day of the Time Warner Holiday Classic on Monday, December 21st. Well, Ashley put up a good fight, losing by just three points in overtime. All four teams lost on day one, thus falling into the consolation bracket. On day two, the four Wilmington teams squared off in a pair of games. Laney edged New Hanover 38-37, while Ashley beat Hoggard 47-38, setting up day three matchups when teams would fall into their final places. John has the details. Hoggard and New Hanover tangled Wednesday afternoon in the seventh place game of the tournament, or you could say they both wanted to avoid eighth place. Regardless, Hoggard opened up a 10-point lead at halftime. The Wildcats responded though. They made a nice little run, but Hoggard pulled away in the final stanza, and they rolled to a 63-50 win. Mackenzie Edwards led Hoggard with 23 points. This is a great tournament for, for us. We look forward to it every year, coming in here playing against uh, teams from out of town. Uh, unfortunately, at this tournament, none of the local teams did well. Uh, we're looking forward to a win. You know, we came in this tournament down, and we knew we had to get a win this last game to you know, get us going in the right direction, so hopefully it'll stay positive. In the fifth place game, the other two Wilmington schools met. Jasmine Kelly's three-pointer helped Ashley tie the score early on against Laney. But Buccaneer Cabrina Truesdale had the hottest hand of everyone on the court. Laney ends up winning 35-32. to Laney claims fifth place as they're the only Wilmington team to post two wins in the three-day tournament. But the in-town rivals, um, it doesn't really matter who's better on paper um, because everyone's always given their, their fullest, their heart, and going out there and playing together. It was a tough showing for the girls at the Time Warner Holiday Classic for the local teams, especially in day one when all four fell into the consolation bracket. Boys basketball tournament starts tomorrow, Jesse. It's the Leon Brodden Holiday Basketball Tournament presented to you by WWAY Television. And I'm going to go out on a limb here. I guarantee you that one of our local squads will win on Monday, unlike the girls' tournament last week. Somebody from the Cape Fear region. Guarantee that. Guarantee it, because Ashley is playing Pender in the first game at 2.30 tomorrow. Pender is a 1A school, but they're definitely one of the better 1A basketball squads in the state. The Patriots will be taking on Ashley in the opening game of the tournament tomorrow. Laney and North Mecklenburg square off in game two. North Mech is a strong 4A squad. It's obvious Laney coach Fred Lynch did not make the pairings. If I did the pairings, I surely wouldn't have North Mech in the first round there. But, you know, you have to, you know, you have to beat everybody to win the tournament. New Hanover does not get home court advantage this year. Traditionally, this tournament has been held on the Wildcats' home floor, Brockton Hall. But it will be held at Trask Coliseum on the campus of UNC Wilmington. The tournament has been played there previously, but it's been quite a while. That was the big question that was asked to me is, do you mind going away from your home place? And I don't. I think the change of venue at Trask is good for the community. Um, our kids are excited to play on a Division I court. Hoggard High School gets the finale tomorrow night. The Vikings will take on Fayetteville Westover at 7 p.m. or perhaps a few minutes after that, depending on the length of the other games. Well, there will certainly be some local high school athletes shining bright at the Brogdon Tournament. Let's hope so. You've been around for a while. You've gotten to cover some of the local high school stars that have moved on to professional uh, status. How about Trot Nixon? 
Trot Nixon, you know, one of the best. I was actually at his house when he was drafted by the Boston Red Sox so many years ago. I was actually held hostage on his front porch by his parents. They wouldn't let me in the house until the phone call from the Red Sox came. I was out there three or four or five hours, but eventually the, the call came, and it was the Red Sox that drafted Wilmington to Trot Nixon in, in the first round. Now, you're old, but not old enough to have been here when Michael Jordan was at Laney, but you've gotten to cover the star. Yeah, and I've had a lot of Michael Jordan stories throughout the years. One I'll always remember will be him playing golf at Landfall one evening up until about 1030 in the evening. Let's just say the last couple holes that I watched Michael Jordan play were in the dark, and he was playing with a flashlight. What about some of the other uh, high school stars that you've gotten to cover in the region? There, there are so many. You know, where, where do you start? And the thing that I like the most is, is covering high school stars and then seeing, well, not necessarily high school stars, but high school athletes who then later develop into stars. And, and one guy who's a, is a local guy who really didn't have a lot of attention around here as a high school guy was Chucky Brown from Leland, but he went on to play at NC State. And then he went on to play in the NBA and he played for like 11 or 12 different teams in the NBA, including the Cleveland Cavaliers. And uh, my big Chucky Brown story is one day I was in Charlotte. He was a member of the Cleveland Cavaliers. It was about an hour and a half before game time, getting ready to play the Charlotte Hornets. And Chucky and I are sitting in his hotel room eating chicken wings. And I said, Chucky, all of a sudden, it's game time in like 90 minutes. He says, John, this is my ritual. I haven't finished with my chicken wings. By the way, I have another one. I've got to eat some more before I get on that team bus. Wade Boggs used to eat chicken before every game, so maybe there's a little something to that. There you go. All right, and then let's transition maybe to some other events that you've gotten to cover, uh, professional sports. One that uh, I'll, will come to mind very quickly is Mike Tyson. I covered a heavyweight championship fight of his uh, versus Duplin County's Bone Crusher Smith flew all the way to Las Vegas to cover that heavyweight fight. At the time, Michael Mike Tyson was king, un undefeated, and I got to be in the locker room with Bone Crusher. And the HBO cameras came in there about 20 minutes before the fight was supposed to start. I was in there with my camera, and they said, what, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be in. And Bone Crusher Smith said to HBO, he's my man. He, he can stay in here. John can stay. So it was, it was HBO, HBO and me in there with, with Bone Crusher before the Mike Tyson fight. Bone Crusher took Mike Tyson the distance, but Mike Tyson won. Now you're into competitive events. Um, there was also a Guinness Book of World Record. I understand that you're on hand for this summer, a uh, skinny dipping contest. If you want to call that a sporting event, you can. Did I enjoy it? Yes, I did. Fun had by all. Stay tuned. Coming up on the Cape Fear Sports Report, we'll take a look at the best of Wilmington sports in 2009, and we'll also talk with Prime Time with the Pac-Man's Mark Packer. You're watching the Cape Fear Sports Report, driven by the Stevenson Automotive Group. <laughs> 